still don't get it. What are you doing going skiing in the middle of summer? When better? No crowds. And no snow. And a perfect time to test out my new invention. Which is? Roller skis. <laughs> Made them myself. I wondered where the wheels on the trolley had gone. All in a good course, Barry. So when did you last go skiing? You've seen me practice sessions across the garage and down the shed roof. You mean when you got your skis caught in the guttering? <laughs> Now's the time to move on to bigger and better things. There's only one thing standing between me and catastrophe. Two bamboo sticks and a couple of plywood skis. Don't you think you'd be better off starting on the nursery slopes? Don't be stupid. It's too dangerous with all them babies crawling around. Come on. I'm not getting in that. You don't recognise craftsmanship when you see it. That's your problem. It's like my skis. Might need a lick of paint, but it's what's underneath that counts. Yes, all bamboo and plywood, no doubt. Just get in. Is it safe? Hey, <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> what's it? What's it? What's it? Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Hey, do you think you should be touching that? You know me, Barry. Exactly. Do I detect a morsel of doubt? Not so much a morsel, more a five-course meal with unlimited access to the dessert trolley. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's working. Naturally. I'm not as daft as you look. Have you seen that? This car is designed to carry two passengers only. Well, that's all right, then, because it's only the two of us. Oh. Hey. I said, that's all right, then, because it's only the two of us. No, I thought you called out. Not me. <laughs> Not unless there's somebody else in the car with us. <laughs> oh! How did he get out there? Quick, get him in. Oh! Oh! I knew it. Don't panic, I'll sort it. We'd better get him inside first. What are you doing, you nincompoops? Get out at once! Where to? I don't care! This is my cable car! Who said you could use it? Well, we thought we'd... Right, I'm going to throw you out! But, oh, leave him out there. Yeah. Quick, let's get back to safety. What's up with this stupid thing? No! There's no need to panic, Barry. It's times like this that a good leader comes to the fore. Oh, dear. And every great leader has one thing in common. They come up with a fabulous solution. Well, come on. Help! Help! He's OK, I think. Well, at least he can't get in now. We'll be all right for a while. Yes, but what about this sign? He says only two passengers. Well, that's just for guide only. As long as there's just the three of us, we'll be OK. Now, how do we get out of here? Hang on. What's that noise? Maybe if I, um... No, too risky. Perhaps Barry. No. <laughs> oh, oh, great! A Yeti costume. Hey, back to me first go. It's not a costume, it's real. Listen. Even better. What? Well, think of the publicity. We're the first people to find a real live Yeti. I'm going to get my camera. I'm off. Where? Outside. I'd rather take my chances with that bloke than in here when that thing wakes up. We're not going to wake it up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's all right. Nice Yeti. I know. Something to eat. Give him my lunch. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't want to give him mine. Well, I couldn't do that, Barry. Why? I've already eaten yours. <laughs> Rock a bye, Yeti, drift off to dreams. When the wind blows, it weakens the beams. When the beams break, the cabin will fall, down will come Yeti, Barry and Paul. Would you mind changing that last line, please? Well, it worked, didn't it? Oh, I wonder where it came from. That's my life, Yeti! Oh, no! Perhaps he's trying to capture it. Well, he looks like a hunter. Imagine ending your days with your head stuck on a hunting lodge wall. Don't worry about it, that's not going to happen. Right. Find some rope and we'll tie the vicious brute up. How compassionate. Not that I'm frightened of him. It's for his own safety, that's all. 
Well, go on then. Leave me, you to your load! What's he on about? Never mind that. How are we going to get out of here? I'm thinking. I've got it. All these cable cars have an emergency telephone. Oh, no, no. Where's the handset? I used it to tie our friend up with. What? Well, that's great, isn't it? Well, you told me to. I didn't tell you to use the emergency telephone, did I? Now what we're going to do? I don't know. Wherever it is, you better make it quick. Look at the water. Well, that's the least of our worries. No, it isn't. It's making the car heavier. It was only designed for two people. Now there's four of us, and there's gallons of water pouring in. It'll be all right. Oh, I knew it. The cable's gonna snap. Let's get this phone fixed. You untie the Yeti. Oh. What about the water? I'll see to that. It's OK, he's still asleep. Oh, bless him. Don't worry, we'll soon have him out of here. Never mind about him. What are you doing? Drainage, Barry, drainage. As the water comes in, so it flows out. Brilliant. We need more holes than that, though. Yeah, you carry on drilling. I'll fix the phone. OK. Leave my cable car alone! Leave my Yeti alone! Go away! Go away! Right! Almost there. How's the water? I think we've licked it. Good. It's OK, he's still asleep. And finally, the red wire. Oh! Turn it off! I'm trying, I'm trying! Uh oh! oh. Give him something to eat! I can't find it! Oh, come on, Yeti! Oh. It's for you! It's for you! Oh dear. Don't worry, we'll get you out. Don't you think we should leave him in there? No, come on. <gasps> oh, on second thought, I'll ring for help. Where's the... Um... Oh, he's got it. At least it stopped raining. Come on, give it here. Give it here. Come on. <laughs> 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 There's only one thing for it. You're going to have to go up there. Why me? Well, it's all right. He's a reasonable man. Snap, you pesky cable. Snap, snap. Well, you'll be able to talk him round. No. Yes, but... Oh, but... Oh. Hey. Do you know what this is? No, but it's got more screws loose than he has. This is going to get us out of here. You're winding me up. No, but this will. What we do, we attach it to the cable and manually to ourselves to the top of the cliff. Let's go. You first. Where's he gone? I don't know. He must have dropped off. Come on. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, it's working. Yes. We'll soon be wrapped up nice and warm in that hotel room. Hey, what about the Yeti? Well, he can have your room. What? Well, he's got to get a good night's sleep if we're going to unveil him to the world's press tomorrow. The press? Yes. Pictures, interviews. An autobiography. They might even make a movie. Is a yeti he can't act? Who's talking about me? What about me? Oh, you'll have a part in it. Oh. You could play the yeti. Yeah, but who's going to play me? You're not in it. Just a minute. Da, 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 da. We'll discuss it later. We're going to have to have a real good actor to play that mad bloke. Ah! Got you at last! Hey, that's very good. Perhaps you should play him. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Give me that! Ah! Ah! Yes. What have you?
Don't go blaming us. It's you threw the winder away. We'd have been home safe and sound by now. Well, that's the phone connected. Ah, right, where's the other end? Oh, no. He's still got it. We'll have to go down there. Why me again? Because you're more agile than me. I know. It's freezing out there. Here. Put these on. That'll keep you nice and warm. Oh, <laughs> dear. Right. Off you go, then. Right. You've got to be careful, you know. Oh, dear. Steady, don't go falling now. Careful, hang on tight. Okay. Hang on tight. I've got you by this. Oh. I've got you. Don't worry. Okay. I've got you. Are you ready? Right, I'm off. Off you go. Careful, ah, careful, oh, careful. Get off me! What, what, what are you doing? Ah. I'm trying to get to the phone. Oh, not my yeti! No. He's got the phone. Oh, let's go! Yes. I'm dialing now, Barry. Okay. Ah. Could you pass me the phone, oh. please? <laughs> The phone. Hello? My name's Barry Chuckle. I'm stuck with three others on a broken cable car between the Venus Nitzel Pass and Mount Wiesenbach. We need help fast. What? No, I don't want to consolidate all my debts into one low cost loan. Paul, you got the wrong number! Sorry. Right. You've done it again! No, I don't want to claim personal injury compensation, thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> right, this time. At last. My name's Barry Chuckle, and I'm stuck on a broken cable car. Oh, good. Thank you very much. It's OK, they know about us. They're going to bring us in now. Great. I'll give you a hand up. So, this is your Yeti, then? Yes, yes, I... I, I captured him. Huh. I was taking him to the university. To experiment on him, no doubt, poor thing. No, 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 he, he'll be treated with the utmost care. We're, we're going to examine him, take some photographs, and then, and then release him back into the mountains. Never mind, eh, Paul? I still don't trust him. You mark my words, he'll still end up with his head on a lodge wall. You're just not, because you won't get any publicity. Barry, the thought never came into my mind. Hey, look, we're almost back. Great. You can forget that sign. Two passengers. I told you, that's just for a guide only. <laughs> Doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> what was that you said, Paul? You don't want to see the poor thing ending up with his head stuck on some hunting lodge wall? Leave my yeti alone! <laughs> <laughs>